In this weekly video, we're going to... The lessons that will be covered during this week are... On Sunday, we will learn to spell words with consonant digraphs SH and TH. On Monday, we will learn about consonant digraphs SH and TH and will be learning about inflectional ending ING. On Thursday, we will learn about the informational text building a house. On Wednesday, we will learn about exclamatory sentences. On Thursday, we will learn how to put the sentences and how to put the words in the proper order. On Sunday, we will learn to spell words with digraphs SH and TH. And the spelling words that will be covered during this week are ship, shop, fish, thin, thick, and buy. Now let's learn to use the words into sentences. I work in a flower shop. The ship sailed across the ocean. The fish breathes through its gills. The book is very thick. Umar has thin lips. The warm bubble bath was relaxing. In phonics, we will continue learning about the consonant digraphs SH and TH and we'll be learning about the inflectional ending ing. The sh make a sh sound, and the th make a th or a th sound. Let's read the words that contain sh in them. We have sh fish, the sh come at the end. We have ship, it comes at the beginning. We have trash and shell. Again, the TH make a TH sound or a TH sound. We have a bath, thumb, math, and cloth. Again, the digraph TH make a TH sound. Inflectional ending ING. On a verb shows that someone or something is or was or will be doing something. So one cat is missing. Two cats are missing. We are looking for the cats. Building a house. So the type of this genre is nonfiction informational text. Houses look very different on the outside. But most builders follow the same steps to build them. Most houses have foundations, floors, walls, and roofs. Building a house provides students with a realistic look at a basic home building process. The book can also be used to teach students how to sequence events and to recognize and use nouns. Our instructional focus is to ask and answer questions to understand the text, to understand the sequence of events, and to describe the information provided by the photographs. Exclamatory sentences are sentences that express strong emotions, and they all end with explanation mark. We have different examples of different exclamatory sentences. Now, if I say I'm free, it expresses joy. If we say she actually won, it expresses surprise. If I say I treasure you or I love you, it expresses love. If I say you're late again, it expresses anger. If you notice here, all sentences begin with capital letter and they all end with exc exclamation marks. Word order. In grammar, word order refers to specific arrangement or sequence in which words and phrases are placed within a sentence to convey meaning. We have basic word order. 
So we have a subject like he, verb, place, object, the guitar, and we have place in his room and time every night. So we always begin with a subject followed by verb, followed by object, and then followed by place and time. In English, for example, the typical word order is subject, verb, object, or S, V, O, where the subject, the person or thing performing the action, comes before the verb, the action itself, and the verb comes before the object, the recipient of the action. For instance, the cat, which is the subject, chased which is the verb the mouse which is the object 